Have you heard about the Mexican repatriation? Mexican repatriation is really a couple of nice words for the mass deportation of people of Mexican ancestry in the 1930s. This was the Great Depression when an estimated one million people of Mexican descent were sent to Mexico en masse. That number, one million, it might be low. Look it up. Whatever you find, it'll be a lot. Anyway, our government moved so quickly, it didn't seem to matter that about 60% of them were American citizens born here in the USA. President Herbert Hoover, with the help of the press, scapegoated Mexicans for the worst economy in American history. Now you might think this was only in Texas and out in California, but it happened here in Detroit too. Repatriation began claiming to be a voluntary program. In Detroit, a lot of Mexicans had been recruited to work at Henry Ford's car plants, but after being laid off, they were encouraged to leave. One day in 1932, more than 400 people of Mexican ancestry got on a train headed toward the southern border, accompanied by Mexican artist Diego Rivera, who had been painting the big mural at the Detroit Institute of Arts. Rivera figured with times being so tough, they'd do better in Mexico. In fact, he put money toward a land-grant program so they could start new lives there. But there were just too many people for the program to work. And the Depression, it was even worse in Mexico. By then, the repatriation got a whole lot less voluntary. Reports of harassment, interrogations, threats of deportation, and just plain threats forced more people to Mexico. Social workers were used to tell Mexican families that they had to leave. They called those social workers the soft police. Most families took their children with them rather than separate. American-born children, U.S. citizens. The number of Mexican Detroiters had been around 15,000. It dropped to 1,200 by the mid-1930s. And in Detroit, Mexicans had no public support. Now, something President Hoover didn't do anything wrong, that the Mexican repatriation was strictly voluntary. They might say the official record shows less than 100,000 were actually deported and that they deserved it. Sound familiar? But there are others who have gathered oral histories and done historical research, revealing stories of government coercion amounting to a kind of ethnic cleansing. Well, if you don't like hearing it that way, maybe just call it the Great Depression's Big Mexican Removal Program.